you. A massive five-year farm bill narrowly clears the U.S. House of Representatives. It would provide what supporters call risk management tools for farmers. But opponents to it say low-income families could really take a hit here. News 4's Li Li Zhang live in the newsroom on what this could mean for Oklahoma farmers and Oklahoma families. Li Li. Well, Kevin, without a doubt, there is definitely some divide over this bill. Even supporters say that it is not perfect, but it is certainly one that they are happy to see move forward. The farm bill is the most critical piece of agricultural legislation that comes before Congress. Praise from the Oklahoma Farm Bureau as a five-year farm bill narrowly passes the U.S. House of Representatives. Bureau President Rod Moselle describes it as a safety net for one of Oklahoma's strongest economic engines. Many of the farm commodities are at half the price they were uh, four or five years ago, so we're, we're in a very tough times for a lot of traditional commodity crops in Oklahoma, so those risk management tools, that insurance that a farmer buys, and essentially the farm bill helps pay part of that premium. But this same bill is also a cause for concern, according to the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma. The 641-page measure also requires recipients on the SNAP program to work 20 hours a week or enroll in job training programs. Skylar Parker says it isn't feasible for everyone, especially those who are already food insecure. And many times they are already working as much as they can based on child care costs. Many of them are underemployed. Uh, many of them are, are receiving a, a wage in the job that they have that they can't work more. Parker says for every one meal the food bank provides, SNAP serves 12. If you were to cut those SNAP meals, that means that we would have to try and increase our meals. And we, we distributed over 53 million pounds last year to, to hungry Oklahomans. And so as, as the SNAP meals go down, that just means there's more people coming to agencies, more people coming to pantries. Moselle says while the bill is not perfect, it's a compromise that will ultimately benefit consumers. Instead of huge ups and downs in the prices of farm commodities based on uh, what the weather's like that year and what crop availability is like. Th this stabilizes prices. Now, the Senate is currently considering their version of this bill, and if that passes, both chambers will have to go into a conference committee. Live in the newsroom, Lily Zhang, Oklahoma's News 4. And we know you'll follow it. Thank you.